I, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. We're here. Yay. No, we've been here. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened. I go into StreamYard and, and you're supposed to click to allow the the camera and the um speaker to you know have access work yeah exactly and it said that i had it open elsewhere well i checked i don't have it open elsewhere so then i try to get back in and then it tells me the same thing and so i double check again so then i went and unloaded the um the what to call it for the camera and then put it back in to see if maybe there was a glitch there. It did the same thing, wouldn't let me in. And so then the other option was just to restart the whole computer. So I did that and that took a little while and here I am. <laughs> so I don't know what was going on. I've been having a lot of, um, I guess, well, not so much a lot, but everything that I used to be signed into, I'm not signed into anything. I have to like, Every single time I have to punch in my passwords for things, which is a real pain because I don't know what my passwords are. So I, to, so I have to look them up. And then if I didn't write it down when I changed it last time I looked it up, then I have to get a whole new one. You know how it is. Anyway, so that's been happening a lot. On, hey, Sherry. Hey, on this, Hi, guys. On this computer. And, uh, and then that's been going on for maybe a couple of weeks. And then a couple of days ago, like over the weekend, the same thing happened on my laptop. I couldn't sign in. I mean, nothing was automatic. I had to go and sign into everything. And I'm going, what the heck is going on here? Ann said same thing with her. Oh, man. Hey, Lana, like Donna. Hey, Janice. Hey, Linda. Hey, Riri. Hey, Pinky. Hey, Gail. How are you feeling? Hey, Ann. How's everybody's body parts doing? <laughs> we have a lot of body parts to account for here. <laughs> oh, now the camera, it looks like a little dull, doesn't it? Who? Uh -huh. The camera. I mean, it looks, it looks, um, I don't know, it looks kind of weird. Like a doll? Dull, D-U-L-L. -L. Oh, dull, dull. <laughs> All work and no play, dull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, at least I'm here. Don't be complaining, ladies. <laughs> Maybe you're in soft focus mode. I don't know, but I'm not touching anything. <laughs> I'm not going to touch anything. And no, Gail said today was a bit tough. Worse she's felt since having surgery, actually. Oh, no, the drugs are probably wearing off and you're healing. Yeah, you're healing. You know how that gets. Ooh, good side, bad side. Oh no. What's up, Bridge? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I got um I don't know if um I forgot to I forgot to message her today. I don't know if Deborah's here or not. Not yet. Or she hadn't spoken. But look what I got. I got some goodies from her. OMG. Hey Stasia. I got some cool napkins. I'll show you in a bit. So what I've been doing, you know, um, um, I think I've been jabbering enough about how out in the front there, out over there in that room, um, I have a bunch of acorns, right? So was it, what day was it? What's today's Wednesday? You have a bunch of what? Acorns. 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 Acorns, sorry. <laughs> I knew I was saying it wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I've been mentioning that about doing something with that. So I did that on um, Monday. No, no, no. Over the weekend. Yeah. So what I did is I I looked up a lot of information because not a peop not too many people uh, make the dye with those. Um, it. There's a little bit more work if you do it their way. Hey, I, Leslie. Hey, Leslie. I sort of did it halfway my way. 
Um, and so what I did is I soaked them for like almost two days because obviously the egg, the what, how you say it? Acorns. Okay. Um, <laughs> they're really hard, obviously. And so I soaked them and then I simmered them. I soaked them for two days, simmered them for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. And so I started working on my book this morning and then I had to go run errands. So I figured, well, I'll finish it up with you guys. And here are my samples. Now, um, the samples aren't like dramatically different, but they're, they're still different. It's enough, you know, it's enough difference. So on the neutral ones here, the, the first one on each batch, those are watercolor paper. And then the second one is um, mixed media. And then the fabrics, those are um, just 100% cotton. So you can see there's not, as far as the fabric, I mean, the darkest one is the one with the baking soda. That's kind of obvious. And then this one, I threw some vinegar in there. It changed it a little bit. And then I put some tannin in there and a little bit. But the soda ash really didn't do all that much. I don't know if that's coming through that way. It's pretty close. Well, on the fabric, it's pretty close to the neutral. But let's get to the paper because that, that shows a little bit more dramatic than the actual uh, fabric. APG! <laughs> Um, so this is the neutral one right here. And then this is with the um, with the baking soda right here. And this is vinegar. And this is the tannin. And this is the soda ash. And so then with the uh, with the dye, I just uh, colored each acorn. And on the paper, well, you can see that's a lot lighter. And then this is the dark. These two are darker, obviously, right here. Well, obvious here. I don't know if it's obvious to you guys there. And then this one's kind of a medium tone. And then this one's dark again. I don't know how that's coming through or not, but that's how it is, people. Bless you. So um, it's a really, uh, I don't, you know. On my monitor here, the colors don't look that great. Live, these are really, really pretty browns with, you know, this has a lot of um, sort of like a goldenish, copperish undertones to these. And then this one is like almost like dark like a coffee. Um, but I like it. I like how it came out. And oh, you know what? And the botanical name, look, look what it is. Say it, Susan. I can't see it. Hang on. It says acorn. <laughs> oh, re, 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 re. <laughs> what? Because she is telling me acorn. <laughs> but look. Acorn. That's it. <laughs> I just noticed that. I wrote it and didn't like say it out loud. <laughs> All oh, right, that is then. funny. Hello. Oh, then. I, I don't stand corrected. <laughs> That's right. Everybody, hey, son. everybody tries, but they're all a bunch of losers, right? <laughs> what can I say? We never win. You do all the time. Okay, so I have this little um ain't that right, Fern? <laughs> I have this um little printout. It's so small I can barely even read it. But it shows the different types of acorns that are out there. Um I'm not sure what I had because I got it from a neighbor. Not a neighbor, they live across <laughs> I say neighbor. <laughs> they live like a mile away from me. Um 
and I think she said hers was a white oak. So if that helps, I don't know. I don't know one oak from another. So that's just that's just me. That's I just learn. me. Hmm. That's just me. Yeah. <laughs> Mine had no caps on them. APG D B head D headed all of hers. I left everything on because I read that the uh, the caps. If you do just the caps, you get a certain color. If you do just the what's the thing called? What is that? Is it a nut? I don't know. If you, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she said, no, they came that way. Hatless. Oh, <laughs> oh they came hatless. Okay. <laughs> so you get two different colors depending on what part of it that you use. And so I thought, hey, you know, I got both parts. Throw them together. See what happens. <laughs> and that's what I did. <laughs> so. So there. Kept it simple. Throw them all in there. And be done. And be done. Be done, done. Hey, Lucy. Be done, done. Oh, corn. It's not. It's kern. How do you pronounce K-E-R-N? <laughs> the official scientific name is an a kern kern <laughs> you know like the mama on on what was that show a k e r n e maybe it's a kerny a kerny <laughs> look at jamie saying hi alphabetically lucy lana lurkers <laughs> The nut is inside the kern. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know what this says here. I should have printed it out big. <laughs> this is a an elder. Is that what it says? I don't even know what that says. Pinky went to town with fake pant po po pants with fake pockets. Fake Fake pockets. Okay. Huh. Hmm. So where'd you put your change? <laughs> Too hot to put it in the bra. <laughs> you know, they start putting those signs up at the corner stores this time of year. Oh, no. Yeah. No bra money. Yeah, so they looked a lot like this one. And this one says the English oak. And then somewhere I saw another picture and it said white oak. The English oak and the white oak look a lot alike, at least in the picture. They may not for real, but, you know, I don't know. We have a whole bayou of white oaks. Really? I guess it's called white oak bayou. I would assume. <laughs> Is it bayou or bio? Oh, bio. dear. <laughs> Oh, look at Riri. Well, ladies are lucky to get half a pocket. <laughs> and that's in their own pants. That's right. Me. But a half pocket will hold an acorn. Hey, Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> Janice said it's a little easier to tell from the leaves which type of oak you have instead of the nuts. Oh, okay. Well, this tree had the the soft roundy petals not the pointy pokey ones oh those are pin oaks the pokey ones oh okay i it wasn't that it was the the soft roundy ones because i took i got some leaves also you're they were on on, mama's canta move, move. <laughs> thank you they were on the ground all dry but i just rehydrate them when i print with them so that worked out just fine so i got the leaves and the nuts Hassan said, serious question. Why is English letters are not logical sometimes? Uh, because they're taken from all different languages. That's one of the reasons. You can have the spelling almost similar, 
in the middle of a word and it's completely different depending where that word came from. If it's dramatic, if it's yeah, like read and read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tamar said, Do you have a bundle for it? No, no, no bundles. I mean excuse me. No bundles. <laughs> I don't have any today. Good. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be working on. Maybe tomorrow, if not Friday. Okay, so I have to add to this list. I did the logwood. I did matter. Actually, it's a loge. What? Loge. Loge. What are you hey, talking Amber. about? Hey, It's a loge wood. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. a long G, not a short G. We we need like a drum roll kind of sort of. <laughs> this is just extremely important, people. This is the most important announcement you will have will have gotten from me ever. So pay attention. How can you say that? I haven't even said it yet, but I've said it. Just wait till I say it and you will agree. Okay. So out in our front yard, there's a, a little gap between all of <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. I was looking for a drum row and I couldn't find one, but I found him. <laughs> yeah, his butt looks like an acorn. <laughs> in the front of our yard and I don't know if it was a mole I don't know what something you know chewed at the roots it slowly died over a two or three year period all the rest are healthy that one okay so my husband says we need to go get a, a privet I said okay oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so after um, a doctor's appointment we go or we go over to this um, place that you know has a lot of stuff so um, we go over there we get the privet and we're leaving and I go wait wait i gotta ask him a question so i run in there and i said do you guys have a smoke bush here because these people have everything it's a little out of town I said, do you guys have smoke bushes well let me check rah, 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 rah. it gets on their walkie talkie and someone comes out rah, 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 you know? <laughs> and she goes, i think they're, if we have any they might be over in this section so we run over there well i was running she had long legs she was just taking strides <laughs> I was going like that <laughs> and and they had two of them and i said oh my goodness i need to get at least one of those so one was a little it looked like somebody had kind of attacked it a couple of times <laughs> it, it was kind of sad shape and the other one was was looked perky and healthy and it had already some some of the um uh, buds coming out for the flowers that is on the bush so I grabbed one and we came home and we planted it. It's in here in my little section. It's just for me. So my doggies can't even like even look at it, let alone do something else to it. It's planted. We've been having rain the past two days since we planted it. So it's really happy, happy, happy because all the soil around is nice and moist. So I'm so excited. Now, I, it might take a full year <laughs> for it to be you know big enough for me to do anything with it but hey you know if i said that last year i'd already have it right so right. it's got to be patient right. you know went privet hunting right? whatever that is what is a privet a privet you know what a boxwood is yeah okay it's just another variation of the boxwood but it it grows you know it can it I have one in another section here in in my yard that we just let it go crazy. It's a 20 foot tree and most people keep them cut as a hedge, you know, but if you guys want a tree, man, those things grow fast. <laughs> they, they don't have to be a hedge. It is a really cool tree and the doves like to go in there because there's so many little small leaves. They have all these little places to hide the the trees really like the privet 
I mean, the birds really like the privet trees. Anyway, that's my story. I'm so excited. I need like 30 of them going down the right side of my driveway so I don't have to look at the McNasties over there. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Have you thought of junipers? They grow really fast. I thought of just calling the HOA, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, like I said, that's my, I think you guys. Exactly, you Gail. Privet sounds like an outhouse. <laughs> hey, Roseanne. Excuse me, I've got to go to the privet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think you ladies, if you've been around enough. You would probably agree this was like a major announcement. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it cost 49 bucks, people. O M G. <laughs> That's why I only brought one. <laughs> really? I'm not paying $49 for that little tired Charlie Brown smoke bush. <laughs> it's like somebody already smoked half of it. <laughs> and so I told Richard, I he, he goes. So I told him, I've told him in the past, I've looked for one of those, right? So when they had it, you know, and they're bringing it in this little, I'm bringing it down on this little cart because he stayed at the truck with the other stuff. So I had this little, this little wagon I'm pulling with this privet. And I thought, oh my gosh, he's going to think I'm nuts to pay that for a bush. <laughs> and and so when he says, how much is it? And I told him, and I thought, oh my gosh, he's going to look roll his eyes. He goes, Oh, that's not a bad price for something that's so hard to find. I thought, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, but you probably saved the receipt as a business expense. Well, of course I did. What do I look like? Uh, <laughs> hey, Adria. It is a business expense. <laughs> I wouldn't be buying that sucker if I didn't want to <laughs> print with it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, so I'm happy about that. I'm happy I got these acorns done. Um, I'll, I'm going to, the, I've got all of the dye ready and I just want to do the tester cause I wanted to see what I wanted to add to what I actually end up dying. Um, I think that, I don't know, it's between the, um, between the baking soda and the soda ash. Hey, bitchy, like boom, boom, boom. I like the left one. I like, yeah. <sighs> Looks like some hard tea. Yeah, it almost looks like coffee for, you know, in, in real life here. Yep. A really rich coffee. But we'll see. And that's with the cotton. So it'll probably, what I'm going to do is, um, I have so many in there. I'm going to fill up the pot because I read that you can reuse them because hardly any of the dye actually comes out. So they're reusable. So I'm going to put some more water in there and I'm going to let it simmer for like another hour. Okay. Deborah Detter just entered the building. Hey, Deborah. Woohoo. Thank you. I was telling the ladies. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. No, huh? that's in Mexico. Hassan. Do people in the U.S. negotiate when they buy things in shops? No, they don't. They wish they could. No, -uh. that's got a hard. Oh, yeah. In Mexico, they do. Yeah, Mexico, you can. But not in America. <laughs> we buy it from China and sell it for 500 times more. <laughs> uh, APG said yes. Resimmer for more. Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, what are you going to do? Who? Who said that? APG. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I should. Look at these colors. Hello. These are my colors, people. Hello. Hello. Look at these colors. Yeah. Gail said when she worked in the store, people would try to bargain. What kind of store was that? A smoke bush shop. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, the second hand shops here, they won't even they, they look at you like what? Uh -uh. They don't no, they don't if they don't have a price, oh I'm sorry, you'll have to put that back. We'll have to price it. We'll price it now. I'm That's right. The they won't even they won't even let you buy it. 
Right. And so tomorrow when I come, it'll be gone. <laughs> Lucky. Where my elephants are. Oh, and guess now another see? major another major announcement. Is it because you're talking about smoke bush that I'm seeing pink elephants or what? <laughs> Major announcement, people. Uh-uh. The smoke bush was enough. I, I was I was cleaning because I've got so much to do, you guys. I wish I wish one of you could come over and help me, but but alas, I'm gonna have to do it all by myself. Um so I was pulling out these boxes that I have underneath where I don't, you know, ever look at those boxes, and I found my uh papers and stuff for my peacock stuff. So now I have that. And so I have my peacock stuff and I have my elephant stuff. So when I'm in the mood, I can work in my glue book for my, you know, respective ones. So I, I thought of that for this other. Never mind. <laughs> I thought of my peacocks because I saw elephants. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay, you guys. <laughs> oh, it's been a long three days. <laughs> and I really like this. Oh. Hassan, doesn't that look like Moroccan? Just just say yes. Because <laughs> it looks Moroccan to me. Like the tiles, you know, Moroccan tiles. Oh, I, just in my own fantasy, I guess. Look how cool Amber says she'll help. She loves seeing other people's stuff. Oh, I wish. Yeah, you know, you know, I think I'm more apt to help someone else clean up stuff and, and organize and to do my own stuff. It just seems so overwhelming. To do my own stuff, you know? It's because it's like, I've seen all this before. <laughs> exactly. There's no fun to it. Until you find that box and go, <gasps> hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I really like these two. You know, I, you know, I'm a, I don't know. If you asked me, you know, are you into pastels or bright colors? I would automatically, bright colors, bright colors. But then I like stuff like this. Yep. And I like black and white. I guess I just like everything. I guess that's all. I guess that's it. I don't know. I just don't know. I used to have this. Remember what? I forget what kit we, I put this in. Mm -mm. This is the Renaissance one, I think. Mm -mm. Yeah, because that, that reminded me of the architecture of that time period. I don't have any more. That'll be good. Excellent. I like these because this can go in um, a Frida journal. <laughs> oh, my God. It looks, it looks very Frida to me. You know, it looks very Latin. And I used to have these. These are my absolute all-time favorite next to this one. Because you can color in those. After you've glued them down the page, you can color them, you know, with your watercolors and stuff. Oh, my gosh. They come out so pretty so those are bing, 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 big wieners this can go into frida also or it can go into my matter stuff because those are the colors of the matter and and here here's the moroccan again hassan tell me that doesn't look like a moroccan tile i think i don't know what a chicken's doing with moroccan tile oh tangine chicken hello Okay, I'm seeing the connection already. Huh, I was kind of worried there for a minute. <laughs> botanical, botanical. Oh, it's different in the back. How cute is that? This brand, what is that? Blue. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's not Michael. Oh, no, that's M-I-C-H, Michelle, Michelle or something, yeah, like, something that. like that. Um, yeah, they, I think they have, if you that's had a pick morning's brand, that they if you had to like pick one brand, I think they have the most interesting um, patterns. Oh, I can't, I like, I already told you guys, it's my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, and of course, who can pass up butterflies? Hello. Oh, another one of those. Hello. I got it out of order. How did that happen? Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And, you know, I have like 10 million 
napkins, but I don't have these. Yeah, I don't have, I, I, I don't think, no, I don't think I have even one of these. Oh, there's some more in there. Hello. Which is perfect because I love working with napkins. I don't really do that often with you guys, but when I'm just doing stuff, I do, um, I do work with my napkins. Oh, look at those. How can you go wrong with these? Because they got a little something for everybody. Because if you just like the green stuff, it's there. If you like the bright stuff, it's there. Like the birdies, butterflies. Yeah. You can't, can't lose. You cannot lose. Oh, and, you know, of course, now that I found my stuff, you know where that's going to go. Oh, this is cool. Pretty gold. Uh-oh, Frida. Woohoo! I used to have that, too. I don't think I have any more of those. I like those a lot, too. I think I, used, has on. I, think I used the last of this in my black and white journal. I've never had these. These are really pretty. These would go in my black and white journal, too. And I've never even seen this, let alone have it. That is so pretty. It's so delicate. So delicate. It is. All the little swirls, those little flowers right there. Too cute. And I don't think I've ever seen this one either. I like the wrought iron down here. And I've had this in the past. I don't think I have any more. I really like these hydrangea ones. I love hydrangeas. I need to do a hydrangea journal. You know, there are so many things that I say, oh, that's one of my favorite things. And I've never done a journal. You know, I don't know. You yeah. are delicate, APB. <laughs> And I only repeated it because you need to hear that. <laughs> Was she thinking she's anti-delicate or? So how many of you. Oh, no. When you wake up in the morning, oh, you go pee and then make coffee. Or do you go <laughs> make coffee and then go pee? Is that going to determine, like, what your coffee is going to taste like? If No, it just lets you know that what's normal for you might not be normal for me. So what's oh, normal? I'm sure nothing I do is normal for you. I should say vice versa. <laughs> I don't think anything that's normal for you is normal for me. Okay. I go to the bathroom first. I don't want to have to clean up any accident. <laughs> well, and I tried the other morning to do it the opposite way. And yeah, I I, I was like, um, I got the cream in the cup. <laughs> See, I grind my coffee every morning. So that would be way too much time. Me thinking, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, grind, grind, grind. <laughs> and all that. No. <laughs> You know, coffee's you know, ready when I wake up. Oh, not mine. It's like it's it's a while, a little while until I get mine going. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, and look how cool. Um, look how cool the cover, the bag, the envelope. Oh, there. Look. Did somebody doodle on it. Did that come like that, Deborah? Or did you stamp it? I mean, I know you did the heart things, but the rest of it, did you did you stamp all this? And what kind of stamp was this? This is very cool. She'll be answering shortly. Whoa! She'll be answering shortly. She stamped it. Wow, those are cool stamps. 
I'm going to be de-stashing stamps pretty soon. I use the same ones over and over again. There's no use having the ones I do not use. I mean, I've used them, but, you know, you figure out what your favorites are. At least I do. And then I don't, out. and then I don't use it. Really? I don't recognize it. Huh. I usually recognize his stuff. I mean, I thought it was, but I don't recognize it at all. I've never seen this set. Is it a new set or a real, real old set? Because shipment C like that. I've never seen that stamp before. <coughs> I don't think I've ever seen that stamp before. I don't think it's old. Oh, okay. Because I've never seen these. This is really cool. Thank you. Thank you. This will definitely get used up. All right. So, um, Oh, let me put this in here, too, so I can make sure it gets into my peacock pile. Peacock pile. All right, so I was sitting around what day. It was really rainy and gitchy goomy and all that stuff. So I started working on, I'm not even, I don't even know how I'm going to finish it, but I'll just show you what. What I've been, what I've been doing. Okay. Got to do cleaning. No, well, I I can't do any one thing for very long because that's just not who I am. I have to jump around from thing to thing, so I have to have like, you know, at least four things going on at one time, so I can relieve myself by <laughs> going to the next project. All right. So you guys know. Um, I did these, right? The, these things. So what I thought of doing, I'm in the process of doing it. It's not done. What I thought I would do is make like a, uh, I don't know what you call them. I never make a real thing. It's between a lap book and a folio type thing, but where this would be the heart of it. And so I've sort of got the back and the front cover um kind of ready for it it's going to be you know what i mean right you guys know what i'm talking about i don't even know what i'm talking about so i'm not sure if you guys know what i'm talking about so here are this is i mean i don't know which is going to be the front yet and what's going to be the back but it will you know there'll be a oops There'll be a spine here, right? And then this will be some of the stuff that's in the spine. And then there'll be a doodad thing that opens this way. Some way like that. Right? Gina said a trifold hardcover lap book. <laughs> well, it's more than trifold. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you get the idea. Man, are the, all these acid flashback pictures you have, and you're like, oh, I don't like creepy. I don't like, I don't like, to me, creepy is stuff that looks like they want to kill you. Okay, well. Or they just uh -huh. got you killing something. That, that dog on the left sniffing somebody's butt is kind of creepy to me. <laughs> Sniffing a butt. Oh my gosh, the way you see things. <laughs> that's not what you said. Oh my gosh, that's even worse than a butt. <laughs> oh God, now I can't even look at it now. <laughs> you know how to ruin a good thing, don't you? Do you pee first or do you have bottom first? Oh, now you got a butt. On your journal. Thank you very much. And I went through all this trouble to get online tonight for this. Everybody sees it except APG saw boobs. <laughs> hey, Lori Hampton. She says, Oh my God, we'll never see that. 
He wants you to get it off the table. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm about to put a flower there just to get the stink out of the area. <laughs> it's okay, Adria. You didn't miss anything. You see that picture on the left? What do you see? <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. Just don't make that the cover. <laughs> I'm gonna have to doctor it now. Everyone's <laughs> gonna see that. Hey, Jen. Okay, let's see if I can put some equally obnoxious there. Janice said wolves are like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. You know how how dogs are when you go to a house with a dog. Oh, <laughs> the sniffers. Yeah. Gail said they all look rather strange to me. <laughs> Ann said the owl is jumping rope. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Give him a flower to smell. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a flower, but see, it's okay. It's okay, guys. <sighs> I'm sorry, I won't quit. Life is back to normal. <laughs> Speaking my artistic visions. Or lack of. Hey, I never claim to be nobody. That's why I'm the voice. <laughs> You're the voice. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh no, she's gonna have to go off on her own. <laughs> I'm laughing at Roseanne. <laughs> oh, Gail said it looks more like a bat than a wolf to me. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh, Colorado Rescue discovers what to say, Colorado Rescue discovers a rare male calico unicorn kitten. What? Are you on drugs? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can handle the rest of the night. I might have to get some ice I think cream. I'm going to be fired, Betty. I think I'm going to need ice cream. <laughs> I'm going to be fired. <laughs> Okay. I can be fired. <laughs> oh, see, that looks better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but we know what he's doing behind that flower garden. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, it's okay. Oh, the subject, yes. I'm exhausted. I don't even know what to do now. <sighs> it wasn't the calico, was it? It was the... Did he have horns or something? I didn't see the picture. <laughs> well, you said a unicorn. Oh, it's a male calico kitten, a feline so rare they are often called unicorn kittens. Oh. Oh, so that just completely took it out from me. Well, that's not exciting. <laughs> Dana said, that looks like a weird Georgia O'Keefe mashup. <laughs> well, her stuff is a little, you know. APG said, smelling the flower. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sherry putting videos out during your live. What's up with that? Who? Be careful doing that. Who? Sherry. What's she doing? She put a video out, just popped up. Same things, just a different day. <laughs> well, 
She must not have been here very long. <laughs> hey, Jennifer Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She was not here very long when she put that video out. <laughs> okay. Let's see what Jennifer, what it, how it comes out when she does it through her voice. <laughs> she said she's laughing so hard she can't even say hello. <laughs> Oh, well, I obviously cannot put this together in front of you guys. <laughs> Sorry. I'm stressing. Uh, I'm eating tomorrow. I'm stressing. Well, why are you stressing? You're probably going to get other people fired. <laughs> no, I have to go to my month-end meeting with finance and the big bosses and tell them that I need to scrap $1.16 million worth of paint. Oh. <gasps> Oh no, whose fault was that? No, it's just all the way across the network. Vertical that, tramp stamps. That had to be somebody's fault. No, that's a whole lot. Do you know how much paint we have? Then what are you worried about? Well, just because. <laughs> because you want to worry. <laughs> but all I know is that I inherited this, okay? <laughs> yeah. Now six to eight months down the road then my fault me where did i where did I, okay i missed i thought to myself now where did i put that <laughs> where did i put that people i think i put that right over here if i don't put this where it needs to go it never will it never will get over there very good now that's there Yay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, needless to say, I don't have anything, <laughs> anything planned for nothing. <laughs> it's been a busy couple of days. So busy, I didn't get anything um, set up for tonight. Oh man. As soon as I got off work, I laid down and it, it it just irritates me because the trial gets interrupted all day long. Oh my goodness, you and your trial. And it's sitting there on pause. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Betty went out and planted flowers all day. <sighs> okay. I gotta find a background I can put for the um come on, oh let's go see Darcy Dar says maybe a big tag collage, maybe Rosemary. A big tag collage. Do you know do you know that I you me and who else? <laughs> do you see what that says? Uh-huh. And I am the inventor of collage. Are you now? They let me put whatever I wanted to put I was the inventor of. Not here, APG. What? Oh, they had the, the um, forensic psychologist on today and yesterday. For what? For Because she tried, she's pleading insanity. Oh. I wonder if that's too dark to put these things on here. Oh, no. It looks nice. Yeah, but is that your darkest one? Uh, I don't know. I, I think they don't do them justice. And that's just me. But just They saying. do kind of, kind of disappear, don't they? Yeah. You need something to... Accentuate. Accentuate. Accentuate the positive. That's right. So what color should I put back there? Let's see. Black. Huh? Black. <laughs> Do I have black? Oh, I might. Uh, that would be the uh, Leticia Stouch trial. Lucy. Oh. Maybe I don't. I 
Yeah. <laughs> What you doing, babe? Does that show up any better? Some breakfast tacos. Yes, look out for zombies too. And she was talking to vampires. <laughs> oh, I don't know these people. Okay, this is too thick. This is way too thick. This hey. Is some big cardboard. What? She said, I told her Janice said, hey, and she said, hey, hey. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of stupid criminals in this world. She's like, the good Lord upstairs knows I didn't do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, bam. That's like triple strike. Now, when she gets to the pearly gates, I'm going to go, did you do it? <laughs> or you come in, did you do it? Pinky said, public service announcement. Listening to Rosemary and Popo while showering is hazardous to your health. I almost <laughs> busted my butt in the tub. Last <laughs> Tornado watch. Where? OPG said, we have one till 6 a.m. I can't live with tornado watches that long <laughs> now i don't know if this is gonna stick to this because it's so thick i don't think i don't think that's gonna work people let me see what i have let me see let me see what else i got over here i know i have like real just plain old black paper surely um. Oh. Oh. <gasps> I got these over here. Well, see, earlier it said thunderstorms after five. Now it says thunderstorms after eleven. Hey, Lucy. Hey, hey, Lana. I know, Jen. I hate them. Montgomery County. Okay, that's you, not me. Hey, yeah. Janice. Hey, Ann. Hey, APG. Hey, 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 gal. Hey, Linda. Hello, Jen. Oh, hey, Sherry. Hey, Amber. Hey, Deborah. If we don't finish this up tonight, I'm going to scream. Hey, Ardidar. Hey, 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 bitchy boom, boom, boom. <laughs> hey, Kathy B. Hey, Kathy. Hey, who? Hey, Fern. Hey, Sally. Hey, Helen. Hey, CJ. Ruth. Hey, Annie Mame, Ruth, and Carol. Hey, Stasia. Who else? Who else is missing? Leslie's lurking and working. Hey, Leslie. Linda's probably walking the dog in the snow. Still snow? Yeah. Oh, there's Leslie. Hey, El where is Elvis? Uh-oh. We have to go looking for her again. APG says, please issue a warning before screaming. I have earphones on. <laughs> Dana said, Rosemary, you can scream. Just warn Richard first. It's good to let go once in a while. If you see Geneva coming in APG, then take your headset off. <laughs> She's the one. <clears throat> and I get in trouble for that, so. <clears throat> it says a few thunderstorms possible after 11. A few may be severe. Uh-oh. But I think she's in a different county than me. Oh, hey, Amy. Hey, Adria. Linda said, nope, she's in bed, but it's cold out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she, she's here. She just stays quiet a lot.
Hey, Adria. Hey, Adria. I hope Elvis is all right. I hope she don't have no headache. Oh, no. You probably made her laugh and she had to go take a... Hey, Jennifer Jane. Take an aspirin. And it said, hey. I don't know if she said it like that, but she said, hey. <laughs> you just don't know. Um, where's Donna been? Ever since she moved, I ain't seen her. Uh-oh. Like you said, she's got family close by now. Uh-oh. What was that? I don't know. She dropped something in the kitchen. The cat's name is Jack. I don't know where he's at. <clears throat> hey, Jennifer. Man, I made a pot of soup big enough to give everybody in here a bowl. <laughs> And Betty don't eat soup, so... Gosh, how come? I think tomorrow I might finish it. She just don't... She don't... I don't know. She just don't like soup. Huh. There's some kind of pathology behind that. I don't know if she just don't like my soup. But she never cooks it either, right? No, she does not cook soup, but she will eat that red and white can crap up. <laughs> I will not eat no soup out of a can. Not me, Jennifer. I ain't saying nothing else of what I see on all these psychological tests she keeps doing. <laughs> Ooh, ham and beans tomorrow. That'd be good. Better bought some beans up day. Amber's making soup tomorrow. Nope, no progresso soup. Betty wants some Gerber daisies. Oh, I love Gerber daisies. I know, so I guess that's what we're doing Saturday. Is they are so cute. Getting Gerber daisies. They are so cute. They just always look happy. Happy, happy. Yeah. Okay, another momentous announcement. It's done. Finally. <laughs> what happened? You weren't paying attention. You, you missed out. I did. <laughs> I said it was momentous. I got kicked out. What'd you say? <laughs> you use the glue? You heard me throw it in the trash. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I just hope you like this. It's an awful lot of black. No, I can't have no chowder. Oh, I love chowder. Not clam chowder. Oh, that is good stuff. Soup, 
fish tacos, that all just turns my stomach. Just the sound of it. Oh, well. What are we going to do with you? I know it does, Gail. I tell you what, these birds, you put them in the in in here, and every morning I pick it up, it looks like there was a wedding. <laughs> it's like, what do y'all are y'all like? I don't know what they're doing. Well, they don't eat the hulls. Okay, well, don't throw them out on my floor. Where are they supposed to put them? Oh, my gosh. Set them over in your empty water cup or something. I don't know. They do that, too. Okay. You know, let's, we need to... Dry that puppy up. Amber likes salmon. She probably likes salmon more. Probably okay. served with a side of acorn. Okay, it's salmon. salmon. Hey, Allie. Salmon. 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 Does this even look black on you guys' monitors? Well, on mine, it doesn't. It looks great. I don't know. I can't hear you. Ah! Yeah, these are dead black, you guys. That's what I'm saying. It's Something goofy going on in my camera. I'll have a chance. I don't know if they'll let me get in there. Let me go try. All they can do is kick me out. I'll be back. Susan can entertain me. Hi. I mean, this team bar with speechmodification.com. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce salmon. <laughs> the word salmon has two syllables, salmon. The first syllable, so it should be like salmon. 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 Oh. The first vowel in salmon is vowel a, ah, as in black. I don't need that much information. Just how do you? <laughs> I think she just said how to say it. No, you can put cheese on them now. Webcam. APG said screen looks gray when when the white heat gun is in view. Otherwise, it looks black. Oh. Right now, it looks gray to me. Yeah, me too. Which is very weird. Controls. I don't, I can't get to that from here. Oh. <gasps> Uh oh, let's see. Oh, advanced setting. Maybe we need to go there. Okay, here we go. Um, brightness, contrast. Here we go. Does it look darker now? Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, dear. I'm, I'm real confused now. Why? Whoa! Salmonella. <laughs> salmonella. Okay, so she's saying salmonella, not salmonella. 
Well, it's two different words in case you didn't realize. Spelled the same. So is read and read. So, you know, give me a different. Oh, my God. Give me a different argument. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you just, she's in here, babe. Okay, I don't, I can't do anything else. I'll have to do it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Whatever. Salmonella. <laughs> Man, this stuff does not want to dry. Oh, you know what? Uh oh. Now what? Eager. <laughs> Eager. Eager. <laughs> Jennifer said once you start gluing pictures on it, it will balance itself out. Hopefully. Hopefully. That is like very colorful over there. Hey, Elvis. Hey, we were talking about you. We were talking about you. You're going to give her a headache. Don't give her a headache. <laughs> Don't give her a headache. Don't give her a headache. You're never late. Well, maybe today you were. <laughs> An no. awful lot been going on. <laughs> well, maybe you'll you'll be the one to buy the journal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have a bunch of stuff that's gonna go in the shop tomorrow. Stuff from what? Um some of the uh journals i made one journal for the colors different colors that we've done so those will be in tomorrow i think yeah they will and then i've got the stuff left over the journals that i made for um route 66 plus some of the um um covers the fabric for the covers because I made so much of it. I got that left. They'll go in the shop too. Oopsie. So there will be stuff. Amber says your folder looks very swatchy. She likes it. That one. It is pretty swatchy. You are right about that. Oopsie. Oh my God. PG said 
Yeah, Elvis, you missed the butt, the boobs, the dog sniffing, and probably other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> none, of, none of my announcements got on the list. <laughs> oh, Rosemary found a smoke bush. <laughs> she used all her glue. Yeah. Um, she found a box of peacocks. Deborah Detter sent her a bunch of napkins. Richard was okay with the $50 worth of smoke bush. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good price for something that's so hard to find. She saved the, the receipt for a business expense so it didn't cost nothing. It cost something. <laughs> hey, it still costs. Okay. I still got to make the phone. Oh, she got a privet. Who did? You. Okay. Just want to make sure. $50 for some smoke bush. That's right. That's cheap. I think my camera's ready to die. Gail says matte and it's it's shiny. Look at that. The paper is matte. This is matte, but it's shiny. I don't know what is going on. But I'm not happy about it. The one I just finished was Matt also, so I don't, I don't get it. He said, when you put the matte gel in front, the paper looks black. Huh? Yeah, now it looks black. Yeah, but something's goofy with my camera. Because this is all wiped out, too. It's really... And look, the stuff over here it looks blue. The stuff over on this side over here, that's not blue, but it sure and looks blue. You blew huh? your fun, blew your funds on a smoke bush. You could have got a camera. <laughs> I can't get a camera for fifty bucks. I'm close <laughs> to it. Uh, you end up with stuff like this. Elvis said, "I'll have to rewatch the good stuff I missed. I'll share the dog sniffing with Benny and yay for the smoking bushes." <laughs> APG said it's the way it adjusts for light and dark. It's normal. But it's never like, look, it's still really no. weird. Look, this is still looks blue. It does not. This, oh, on my monitor, this looks blue. Oh, your scissors. The scissors look blue. This looks kind of bluish. It just no. looks weird. That looks blue. Well, it's black. <laughs> it's supposed to be black. Now, see how it's getting. It's just, I don't know. It's just weird. You better order one right now. <laughs> no. Did you hit something when you were cleaning your room? Mm, no, I was on the other side, so I hope not. I saw All a right. meme on Facebook the other day and, and the mom said clean your room and the little kid said it's my room she said it's my house he said then go clean it <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
So now I don't know if those stand out or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, too bad. Did you um re reconnect your um program for your camera? Yeah. Oh. Yep. You probably just need to go in there and that was the first thing I did before I had to turn everything off. I thought, well, maybe I just need to do that. And that didn't help. I don't think I can do anything from this side. Can I darken you or? Mm -mm. See, that should not look like that with all that light stuff on. <laughs> He looks fine. <laughs> he looks fine. Your white balance is off. Well, yeah, but I went in there and um, I moved it around. It didn't change anything, which is weird. Which is very weird. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh. Now, here is Sodash. I'm going to see how I want to put those in here. Sort of. Mm, put that somewhere in there. Are you sure those are the right acorns? <laughs> yes. So did you see that um they um served Bethany Funk with a subpoena? I don't know who the funk she is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, she was one of the two surviving roommates in Idaho, but she was on the very, very first floor. And she did Oh, the one that saw the guy? Well saw a guy? Well, that was um, the Molden, whatever her name is, on the second floor, saw him run past her door. Oh, okay. But this Bethany Funk, she said that she was out in the yard when the cops came, yada, 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 da, 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 da. Well, come to find out, she moved to Nevada, and they subpoenaed her, and they're like, oh, no, you can't subpoena her. Well, apparently Idaho's the only place that can subpoena you from whatever. Out of state, something. Really? So come to find out, they found out that she saw a naked guy running out the kitchen door. <gasps> hey, Brenda. She's on the road again. On the road again. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that's one. Of, okay, so there is a um, what's that word? Um, I can't think of it. Um, <laughs> I'm okay. Um, uh, uh, there's a certain word for for just because one thing is true doesn't mean the other thing isn't also true. But there's a word for that, right? can't think of what it is well and they said that when he was arrested he asked has anybody else been arrested mm -hmm. yeah i remember that yeah conspiracy <laughs> so
So he was, he, no. <laughs> I don't know. It's not till preliminary. It's not even until June. Well, you should be happy something's going on. I just completely blew Lori Daybell off because I'm sorry, but that's just too weird for me. Well, you know, if there was a guy in there having sex with one of those ladies, when all this screech, screaming happened and blood and curdling and all of that, don't you think you'd run out naked too? No, because the two ladies were together. They were best friends and they were just like, I don't. They could have been in a different, the guy could have been in a different room. There was other rooms and different people. Well, there was already a guy in Xana's room. They're college students. Yeah, this is true. I don't know. Should be. I know they quashed the the subpoena, and they're gonna fly there and talk and and interview her. So she did agree to that. Paradox. No. Dial dial dialetheism. Never even heard the word. Don't st don't start getting all fancy pants with me. I know. I'm not. That's not me. That's Janice. Oh, I know. That's what I, I figured it was one of them. <laughs> don't want to show my all my ignorance. Maybe your alarm's going off. I don't know for what. Oh, shut the birds down. She's so funny. Her phone, when the alarm goes off, it tells you what it's for. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, what's this? B. Oh. Mom, <laughs> where's my BS? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta have something tell me what mine The Alfred plea. Hmm? Reasonable doubt. No, it's not it's not a uh, a legal term. Onomatopoeia. <laughs> Is that before or after the coffee? <laughs> um, probably both. <laughs> so what you're saying is that if a naked man ran through my house, that would not be normal. But for a naked man to run through a frat, I mean, a sorority house, that is normal. I would say so. It just goes to prove Jamie's point. Which was? What's normal for you might not be normal for me. So what is normal? Right. It's a setting on the washing machine. <laughs> now that was funny. <laughs> is it a Quora? No. An oxymoron? No. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is starting to look like an experiment. <laughs> so would that be normal for your house? What would be? For a naked man to be running through it? <laughs> not through it. Maybe in it, but not oh. through it. <laughs> he has respect for the neighbor. <laughs> Oh, that's my normal, okay? <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> We've learned a lot about each other tonight, haven't we? Yes, we have. <laughs> I had 
a naked man run through my house one time and I and I tried to jump out the bathroom window and Betty stopped him dead in his tracks. <laughs> Remember that, babe? <laughs> and why did she stop him? Because <laughs> I pissed him off. <laughs> He was mad. Hmm. Elva said, my husband could be a nudist, but I've held him back. Just not my cup of tea. Amber says, it goes to context and usual habits, just like reading body language. You have to consider how a person normally behaves and speaks to Super be good. remotely accurate. Otherwise, it looks like it in body language. I don't know. Susan doesn't believe in body language. I asked her the other day. Because he lived there, Lucy. And he wanted he want to have this big old party and cook all this food and invite all these people over. And then he took his little drunk butt to bed and left me with all the mess. And I went in there and I banged on his bedroom door. I said, are you going to leave all this mess in here for me? You need to get your up and help me clean this crap up. <laughs> he opened that bedroom door and all I saw was... George and I ran. <laughs> Betty was in my bathroom. I ran past her. And then in the little bathroom was this window that was like six feet up off the ground. And all I know is my head was outside and my butt was on the seal. <laughs> <laughs> and what were you expecting to accomplish? I don't know, but Betty stopped him dead in his tracks right there. <laughs> Better simmer down, Stanky, she told him. Crazy times. We have been through in some messes. <laughs> some messes. Some messes. Let's see if I don't put that upside down now. Because you know, it would not be the first time I would do that. So I'm I'm having a new security company come out. Uh oh. And put new cameras. Uh oh. How come? Well, I'm I'm thinking about just putting a doing like a raccoon saloon house. <laughs> <laughs> you won't I, see no naked men running through. My I would subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> naked or not, I'd subscribe. Be like the Big Brother house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, where's my tape? I can't handle this. Where's my tape? Oh, here's my tape. <laughs> I can't imagine. You would have to watch everything. <laughs> glue, glue, glue. Come, come, come. What was that Jim Carrey movie? Liar, liar. I don't know <laughs> which one. <laughs> the one where he was lived in the camera. Oh, um, Truman? Yeah. Was that what it was? Truman's story? I don't know. I think. The Truman, I don't remember. I think that's what it was. 
All right, Gail, go put some ice on your leg and go pee first so you don't have to get back up. That's right. Have a good night. Yes, the Truman Show. And I'll even put a little camera peeking over my neighbor's fence because he's always doing something. If we're sleeping, y'all can watch him. <laughs> I'd like to watch your gardener just eat up all your backyard. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he comes this week. We need to move the rugs. <laughs> <laughs> and you should have like uh, speakers so that we could say stuff to him like, Senor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, whoa. Senor <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about to the lawn man who ate our rug with the. Oh, he eats something every time he comes. <laughs> we ought to leave him a sandwich out there and go here, dude. <laughs> and the dog toys. Did Mama shut your window? You can't see nothing. Mama, shut your window. Yes. So, how many squirrels did Buster get this week? The, the, mm, we've had rain almost every day, so he. Oh. Hasn't gotten any. I did show you the last one, right? Yes. Yeah. He was so happy about that. Lucy said, my daughter has a pet cam and my granddaughter scared her half to death one day by taking it, by talking to it. My daughter thought she was alone. It's okay. I watched my, I rewatched my cousin Vinny yesterday. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that movie's so crazy. Now, what do we call these little brown things? Bushes. <laughs> Bushes. Bushes. Oh, did you see um, Harry Belafonte died? Yeah. He lived a good life, long life. And, and um, Bob Newhart's wife died? I don't know who she is. Well, she was his wife. Well, is he dead? I don't, I don't remember. I don't think so. He must be a hundred years old. Yeah. Freaking Carol Burnett, she's 92. Oh, I know. That's crazy. I can't even imagine. The old guy from Dancing with the Stars died. I know. Mm -hmm. Lynn Goodman. Yeah. Tucker Carlson got fired from Fox News. Yeah, I heard. And John Lemon got fired from CNN. Yeah, I heard that too. They're like, what, like a half hour between each other? Yeah. She was Mrs. Newhart. That's right, APG. <laughs> Bob Newhart is 93. He and Jenny were married for 60 years. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That's a lot of years. Yeah. Yeah. That's like Dolly Parton. She's been married to that unknown man for 
forever. Yeah, forever. Levon got to meet him. Oh, well, I'm sure. <laughs> Levon's downsizing. His house, his house is now only only 3,500 square feet. He there down, you go. He downsized. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. What? I just got a notification. About? About... A man was bit by a vicious Bronx peacock. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, we can't have those kind of stories. 911 states the peacock is very vicious. So an hour ago, incident reported at East 180th Street and East Tremont Avenue. Police have received a 911 report of a peacock on the loose after escaping its designated zone. A 911 caller reported being hit on, bit on his thigh by the peacock. Well, his days are numbered. Oh, wow. Anybody for some feathers? And they're showing him on the scene. The peacock somehow made it into a tree, and firefighters are en route to attempt to capture the bird. <laughs> wow. Why would I be getting news from the Bronx? I don't know. <laughs> Lucy's anniversary, 50 years next year. Whoa. Janice said she heard years ago Dolly's husband looked like the Marlboro Man. Uh-oh. Good looker. Pinky said, Jar had a really bad day at work yesterday. Had to fire someone. <gasps> he stopped at the store to buy us a beverage. An hour drive. A lady came in screaming, a snake is climbing out of your car. <gasps> he got in his car and the lady said, don't forget your snake. <laughs> what? <laughs> They don't want it there. Take it with you. <laughs> A snake is crawling out of your car? That's not nice. We're almost there. Well, not really. I got that size still. <laughs> I used to live up in the high desert and you'd have to like really make sure you didn't have any snakes in your view. They go in there to cool down, get out from the sun. Good night, APG. Good night. Whew, I'm getting cold. Oh, I might have to put the heater up. The heater? Hmm? The heater? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. 
Well, it was 40 something last night. Today it didn't go above like 51. Plus it was raining, so it's damp and it's cold, you know. Cold's one thing, but then when it's also got a lot of moisture in the air, whoo, it really feels cold. I miss it. The cold is going away. You already miss it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, nothing too exciting tonight. Not this hour, anyway. <laughs> Lucy, she doesn't like Nova Scotia because they're going to tax all her money. No, we don't. We do have a Canadian office, but not in Nova Scotia. So if you move to Canada, would you have to pay all their taxes plus your United States taxes? I don't know. Probably. We have an office in Montreal. Dorval. Um, Burnaby. I don't think none of those are near Nova Scotia. <laughs> Lucy said if she was working in Canada, it would be Canadian taxes. Oh, Jennifer Jane lives in Burnaby, but that's on the wrong side. Montreal is cold. But, 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 what is the significance of the weather to you? Because you've said yourself you don't like to run around. You just stay at home. So, um, what difference does it make what weather you're living in? Who said anything about the weather? You want it cold? Well, I do like to go outside. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I'm asking. I'd rather have cold than heat. Especially to see. Remember the freeze. Yeah, they had crazy cold weather this time. I'm talking about when you had no electricity. Oh, yeah, that, that was no good. But no, I would be prepared because I'd be living off the grid. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I might even live in a yurt. <gasps> oh, man, you better have an extra bedroom. I almost got my yurt styled house when we were living in Hawaii. Came really close to it. One of the forensic psychologists on that testified today said that she lives in Hawaii and works in Colorado. Well, she may work remotely.
You know how that is. You could be anywhere, but you live in, but you work in Texas. That's true. You can be in Nova Scotia. I could be. But you work at the Texas office. That's true. Actually, I think I'm employed out of the Nashville office. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> but I used to work for my boss and my whole team was in the UK. And I worked here. I rest my case. Because I asked my boss, I said, they want me to come over to the plant like three days a week. She said, you work 4,441 miles from your team. She said, where you sit, I don't care. <laughs> like, All right. Well, then I choose to sit over here on this side of town. <laughs> Jada said that weirdo dog, the bounty hunter, worked in Hawaii and Colorado. Flew back and forth. Lived in Hawaii, rented a home in Colorado. Yeah, I ran into him. I mean, he wasn't arresting me, but I ran into him. Ugh. Several times. Because he had his hop office on the... Or a office. I don't know how many he had, but he had an office on the island I lived on. That guy was a character. All of them were. Yeah. They were all very strange people. And that's putting it mildly. Uh, Brenda ain't live. She said, not driving, so adding stuff. Bo rambles around the house naked. And so if it's around his normal rambling time, it's customary to yell, are you naked? And wait for an answer before entering the zone. So I saw Timmy had a live this weekend. I don't know if he came out with some more new stuff. I don't know. I got a notification, but I, I didn't watch it. No, I didn't either. Pinky said her son ran into Dog when he was stationed in Hawaii. I swear, everyone in that whole group looked like they were ex-cons. Dang, Brenda had to scrape ice from her windshield Monday and Tuesday. Wow. And it's April, almost May. I know. It's crazy. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's what it was, Pinky. He brought those um, those little paints back out. Those distressed paints. Oh. And now they don't have the... Dauber? Yeah, now they have a lid. And if you do have the Dauber ones, you can buy the lids. Amy was found some of that not too long ago. What? Some of that Tim Holt distress paint. Uh-huh. And she was going to use it on her jelly plate. And it wasn't coming out. So she started shaking it. Well, then it flew out and went up on the walls and stuff. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> and she had to tell everybody to hang on while she went and told on herself that she just flung paint all over the walls. Oh, my goodness. 
That's kind of crazy. Yeah, the dauber exploded on her. I don't know if I've ever had... I don't know. i got to double check. I think maybe I have one. <coughs> I was going to say I never bought those before, but I think I have one. Uh-oh, Brenda said her 15-year-old light bulb outside the back door just died. Well, you better... Because Biden's making everybody change their light bulbs. To what? I don't know. They're banning light bulbs. You have to use a... I can't even remember. I thought they did that like 10 years ago. Not 10, maybe... Six years ago. Hate this camera. A humbug. Well, now that you've got stuff on it, it's not quite as bad. Oh yeah, Janice, but I like the bright, the bright white. Incandescent or banned. Oh, that's been a long time. Jen said, $5 for a little thing of paint. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> They're not coming in a blister pack or nothing. They're just like sh shrink wrapped together. We bought, or not we, Betty did, bought those light bulbs that you put in the, put in your lamps, mm. and when the power goes out, they turn on. <gasps> I don't know about those. Yeah. And then they, they come with a little, a little light bulb screw with a ring on it, so you can take it out of your lamp and screw it in there, and then. Walk around with that little loop. Cool. Yep. Hey, the sarcastic craft hoarder Brenda. <laughs> Incandescent has been banned. Prefer you to use LED low voltage that produces very little heat. That's right. Elvis, your show's on. Uh-oh. Was she still here? I thought she already left. No, this is... Who are you talking about? Elvis. Oh, no, she's here. Oh. She said, you can get those popo seriously. My husband talked to the guy at Home Depot and bought new bulbs for the kitchen. Oh, my God. Blinded me at first, and they were so bright. Yeah. I love those. See, that's, that's like very descriptive of me. What is? The sarcastic craft hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> that name fits me like a glove. Oopsie. I saw somebody made a green bean fairy. Really? They posted in the group. I didn't see it. I posted it. She bought two of them. I'll have to look. 
Oh, yeah, Allie, I hate that, too. Who was did that? Let me see. They don't come to the group. I mean, they don't come out and chat. Who? The person that did it. Um, let me see. Rest of Peacock. Oh, Janice put some acorn pictures up. It was Suyan Mirage. Oh, I know about it. I'll let her let her tell you who she is. <laughs> she comes here quite often. That's just her. You know how Lucy is Lucy, but she's not Lucy. I bought two caboodle kits. Want to make a butterfly and a mushroom. Both still not done. Having fun. Just wanted to share a couple pictures. Yeah, I'm not sure if she wants. I, I I'll let her. I'm because some people don't want their name out there, so I'm not sure. If she's one of them. I don't know. I don't know. She's a regular. She's here all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's done for now. Pinky said, my mom had the nerve to come into my art room and ask me why I was saving all those empty pill bottles. I told her Rosemary will have a craft for those soon. <laughs> yeah Elvis, Susan, I decided to save the episodes And binge watch the rest That way I'll cry on one weekend And be done with it Makes me sad Yeah Uh oh Okay Alright, Suyon So which one haven't I done yet? Where's I ain't one? never said hey to no Suyon at 8 o'clock. Because that's not her name over here. Oh. I said just like Lucy. But Lucy's Lucy. No, Lucy isn't Lucy on Facebook. No, she's not. That's right. So this other lady isn't, isn't Suyon on YouTube. She's something else on Facebook. Don't tell me who she is, Allie. Let her have her anonymity if she wants it. Sherry's walking around in the dark. <laughs> what? On purpose? She said the lights in my bathroom went out months ago. Haven't bought them. And the lights in the kitchen looks like they're going out too. Oh, no. There's my black bean stuff. I think I'll, I think there's a couple of um, dyes I want to revisit with um, different mordants and different modifiers just to see what happens. Because I was kind of limited to like two or three on some of them yep. I'd like to expand on a, on a couple of those. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I still have some of those, Brenda. Those curly ones. Oh, I have some of those, too. Yep. I think, no, it's not what's up here right now. Oh, there is one. There's one up there. <gasps> yeah, they I, like, I like bright light, too. Yeah, me, too. Oh, I itchy me. Uh, 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 uh. And it said, do the purple corn again. You have lots. I do. This is it right here. Get all the cool colors. And I got to look back. I don't think I did any fabric, did I? Except the little swatches of, of because that's what this is. This is all cotton right there. But I don't think I did, did I? Help me out, you guys. I don't remember. I'll have to go back and look at the video. <laughs> I don't remember what I made. Because I don't have any leftovers of the fabric. So I'm thinking I didn't do any. Because I've always got a little bit of leftover. Hmm. 
Yep. I'll have to. I'm going to I'm going to relook at of the ones I've done and see which ones I did fabric and which I didn't. I think at the beginning I wasn't real confident with the um um the fabric. Now now I'm confident. Um well, when I say confident, I mean I'm not afraid to um to do it and, and make a mistake. I'm okay with that now. She did, Lucy, that mulberry leaf. Yeah, I did the mulberry. Oh, yes, Sally, yes. Um, I'm looking here at my stuff. I don't think I did the... Uh, if I did, I don't have any left. Janice says she thinks she did some applique stuff, but she's not positive. Oh. I'll, I'll double check the... Tonight. Okay. Oh, I gotta. Oh, my tune is here. Oh, I'm freezing. Okay. So now I gotta figure. Okay. So the next, not major, but the next thing I have to contemplate, which you guys, if you've really looked at my journals, I do not like pockets and tuck spots. I just don't like them. Well, procrastinate, and um, <laughs> and that's what I've got to do with this journal. That's the next step on this particular journal that I'm supposed to be making, making that. And I'm just like totally brain dead. I don't. My brain doesn't think that way. But I, did, some videos. but I did bring it, huh? Go watch some videos. Oh, forget the videos. <laughs> if you don't like doing it, it doesn't matter how many videos you watch. Okay. So, and you don't fill them up. You don't fill up the pockets or the or anything. That's the next person's job. I just gonna supposed to make the, uh, what am I supposed to make? Hold on, let me get the list before I start saying the wrong thing. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Where did my list go? Uh -oh. I'm supposed to be doing okay. pockets and tucks. Pockets and tucks. It says these can be attached to the pages. On the inside cover, you can paper clip them in, staple them in, glue them in, whatever you want, but just be sure that they are empty. They can be embellished and layered or whatever. These should simply be places where the next creator can add tags and ephemera and doodads. This can include hidden paper clips that are actually a pocket but not simply a paper clip because those would be considered step five. Okie dokie. So, so there. <laughs> so there. So I did get this out of my stash where I figured I could make a little pocket or a tuck or something with some of, some of these. And then I thought these would be. Uh oh, was tabs part of it? I am so confused. Have you have you died with gooseberry leaves? No, I don't have any gooseberries leaves. Brenda said, "Try gooseberry leaves. They are dark, yummy green, but you got to blender them before adding water and cooking down." I have no gooseberry bushes. You'll have to send me some. Oh, and I have these, too. I don't think... I don't know why... Well, I do know. I want to say... I don't know why this seems so difficult to me. It's because I don't like this part. Um. Okay, I don't see... Who puts tabs on? That's what I'm looking for. What step would you think 
tabs would be put on there. Maybe when you did the pages? I don't know. There's one in the icebox for you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is Jamie gone? Yep. Rat. Oh, I don't. See, oh, here we go. Okay, I, was, I don't see tabs anyway. Okay, that's number five, so that's not going to happen. All right. Well, who does the like the little flippy doo dahs? Who does that? When do we do that? Or maybe I don't know. Heck no, me either, Pinky, and I wouldn't spend the night with, with Janice's grandma either. Let the black snakes live in the wall because they eat the mice. <sighs> okay, I don't see anybody doing the flippy doo dahs. So, maybe we do the flippy doo dahs now. What is the flippy doo dah? You know, a little flippy doo dah. A tip in? I don't know. I don't know the name for anything. I call it a flippy doo dah. Because uh, I don't see that word here. Not flippy doo dah, but the other word. I don't see it anywhere. A hinge? A hinge, <laughs> I don't know, just, uh, I call it a flippy doo -dah. Okay, so. So did you invent the flippy doo -dah? I'm sure I didn't invent anything. I never. Sure you invented the caboodle kit. I don't invent nothing because people jump down your throat if you say you did You know what? I'm tired of people who jump down people's throats. I know. It's, yes. It's painful. <laughs> that throat's kind of narrow. <laughs> Keep your opinions to yourself or speak them out in public is how I feel. There you go. And we know Susan has no problems speaking so people can see in public. <laughs> the real you. <laughs> Don't tell me to behave. I don't have to behave. <laughs> I'm committed to this channel. I don't have to behave over here. There's no, there's no, there's no fun in behaving. Okay, so I'm gonna paint these black, and then kind of highlight it with a little gold or silver or bronze or copper or something. I make a couple of pockets. That'll work because those have the, you know, the, you know what I'm saying? Yep. The gears. Gears. So that'll work. So I'll do two of those. I'll do two of those. Thank you, Elvis. And then I think I'll make a, uh, what do you call those little things you can just stick something in? What do you call that? A tuck. Thank you. I'll make a little tuck i'll put some kind of backing on there and make a tuck on one of these pages okay so we've got two pockets and a tuck <laughs> oh my gosh and then i can put some little put some of these on a, like a card stock of some kind and make that a little one of these like a little pocket tuck thing I guess. I can't see nothing. No, it's okay. It's okay. Leave it dark. Leave it dark. I just, my eyes need to adjust. Don't trip. <laughs> Poor thing. Don't trip. Well, she turned off the kitchen light, and the next light is the bedroom. It's not on either. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. Okay, so I think that's, that's like, okay, wait a second. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, people. <sighs> hmm. 
I mean, it isn't like I'm going to get arrested and put in jail if I make a mistake. But well, you might. <laughs> I might. Because somebody's going to go, now this one has double chips and flip-ins because those <laughs> men didn't follow instructions. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I need to do is paint these so these can dry. So let me find my black paint. But then I'll make a big mess. No, I'll do that later. I mean, I'll do that some other time. Because I don't want to get it all painty here and a mess working on this journal. Okay, so... I'll Why? Do you know you're going to hang out till 2 or 3 in the morning over there anyway. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to get it messed up now when I'm working with this stuff. I'll get I'll get messy later. Have you died with poke berries? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Can't get rid of that stuff. <laughs> it comes up every year. Is that what you make salad with? I don't. I'm not one of those. Oh, I, I was going to say something rude. Kunas? <laughs> what? A kunas? No. <laughs> oh. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> they eat poached salad. Well, good luck. Let's see. I think I need some black cardstock. Let me find some black. I'm pretty sure I have some. I just gotta find it. Oh, here it is. Are you walking through here? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't see anybody, but <laughs> I heard something. <laughs> you were hoping it was her, right? <laughs> well, I was hoping it was her because I could feel the presence of something in the room, but I can't see anything. <laughs> you felt the air move, huh? Man, it's like pit freaking black in here. What about a rhubarb? Would that die? I haven't tried it. I bet the... Uh... The leaves do more than the actual plant. Just a guess on my part. Because when you cut up those leaves, they they leave a lot of green. So I know there's a lot of dye in there. about purple onion the uh the what you call it um what do you call it on the outside <laughs> skin yeah it does i have a big i've been collecting a bunch that's one of my next ones i'm doing i've got a pretty big bag but you need a lot of it i mean because i like the color saturated I might be about ready. I might be ready. I'm not going to necessarily use all of these, but I'll be ready. Mm. 
Mm -mm. I don't like snakes. No how, no way. Period. Fried? Well, I like them pickled, but I don't like them in <laughs> alive. Oh, okay. I would never go to the Congo because I don't want to be on the picture in a magazine being in no snake belly. Or it around your neck, right? Oh, my God. Those pictures they show when they swallow those people whole. Or an animal. Well, the alligators or crocodiles, they do that too. Can't go to Florida. No, especially if you're going to throw your child in there. Yeah, pickled rattlesnake. That's good stuff. What is that a picture of? A light bulb and oh. a hand. Okay. I don't even want to know what you saw. No, I I couldn't tell because the way you were moving it. Pickled rattlesnake. Yeah, Amber, I can't see you living in Florida either. I'm just going to keep these simple. I'll show I'll have a little of the black showing. It tastes just like white meat chicken, Janice. Oh, everything does. Alligator does. Because you can get alligator on a stick over here at the Cajun Festival. Oh, my goodness. Fried alligator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. It's like white meat chicken. That's what everybody says about everything. Tastes just like chicken. Frog legs taste like chicken. Must be a universal flavor. Must be. Maybe all white meat tastes like chicken. <laughs> Ask Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe you didn't soak it in milk, Brenda. Gator tastes like muddy snails. So it tastes like milk, not like chicken. No, it tastes like chicken at the Cajun Festival. And who's to say they're not giving you chicken? They could be. Emu don't taste like chicken. What does it taste like? It tastes like emu. <laughs> well, they make it into sausage. Sausage pretty much tastes like sausage regardless of what it is. Well, it's all the seasoning they put in it. All right. Oh, my God. Last night. Betty called me in there and said dinner was ready. And I walked in the kitchen and almost gagged. <gasps> I'm like, what the? She had a plate with these huge liver steaks on it. For the <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, Yuck. <laughs> gag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gag. I'm with you on that one. Gag. Yeah. 
Elvis said the alligator she ate tasted like pork chops. It was good. Well, there's a lot of fish that you need to put in milk to take that, that gamey taste out. Yeah, it's a lot of cooks do. Lucy had ostrich, but she had too much to drink to remember what it tasted like. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather eat the gator than liver, too. I remember when I was little, my mama would go, um, we're going to go eat at Piccadilly because today is liver and onions. I was like, okay. Mm. I ain't eating it, but I'll take some of that roast beef. They had the best roast beef at that cafeteria. But liver and onions? No. I was watching them make um, street food in South Korea. Man, they're making this breakfast dish. They piled up so much. I don't know how you even could open your mouth to <laughs> bite it. It had so much stuff. It looked good. And then right before they put the last ingredient, they must have put like a cup of chili on it. You know, their hot sauce that they have. Yeah. That Korean stuff. Man, I'll make your eyes water. Kimchi. Well, yeah. that's. I mean, the, the chilies they put in the kimchi. Oh, man. Kimchi is good stuff if you like hot stuff. And if you don't care what it smells like, it's pretty strong. You really don't have to eat it. Just open your mouth and inhale. <laughs> your eyes will start watering. <laughs> They have a restaurant over when I used to drive from the other house to work. Mm -hmm. And I would read their signs every day, but they had like, um, they had like bison and elk and buffalo, camel, kangaroo. Oh, why? All that kind of weird. It was called the wild game grill or something like that I ain't eating no camel burger or no camel toe nuggets or nothing Lucy loves kimchi. It's hot though, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Well, at least the one I've had is. Yeah, I That's... think Roadkill Cafe is by Rosemary somewhere. It's in Arkansas, I think. Um, the only one I've ever seen is when I went up to Maine. They have a roadkill one up there. That doesn't mean there aren't others, but that's the only one I've personally seen. Oh, it's in Alabama. Yeah, I don't live in Alabama. I don't. I, I just don't live in Alabama. Oh, they have one in Houston. There you go. Oh, it looks like they have them everywhere. 
except Arizona. Our <laughs> Anywhere there's a highway. <laughs> yeah. All down Route 66. There's a roadkill grill in Vegas. But they don't serve roadkill at roadkill grill. Well, what's the point? What's in the name then? <laughs> the Whistle Stop Cafe? That on Route 66? No. Oh, and I was so mad. It was pouring rain Saturday, so I didn't go and get my waffle. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. And it's been raining ever since. And that thing, you have to stand outside, you know, at the opening to the little um, thing. <laughs> I'm not about to stand in the rain to get a waffle. Can't you do like that Goodwill place and go put your water bottle in line? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, Pinky. That's against the law. <gasps> what did she do? She said, Jar hit a deer once. I made green chili con carne out of it. Pinky's roadkill <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Brenda said, every year there's a church that has a wild game festival locally. Beer, deer, wild hog, raccoon, possum, and muskrats. That's a pass, oh. pass, 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 and a pass. <laughs> Double pass for me. <laughs> yeah, that's against the law. You can't hit a deer and take it home and eat it. Oh, the Game of Fish gave us a tag for it. Huh. There you go. And I guess they figure since you have about ten thousand dollars worth of damage to your vehicle, they may as well give you a free meal. <laughs> really? What was that? What? Sounded like a big old 18 wheeler with this. <laughs> it was an 18 wheeler, but it was a truck. <laughs> wow. Oh, Leslie said it's legal in some states. I didn't think it was legal here, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't ever want to find out. is part of the book. Woohoo. I just ran over Chihuahua over here on 5th Street. Can I take you home? Need it? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a big old controversy here. Uh-oh. Chicken? Oh, no. Okay. I, 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 don't, I don't know the name of it, so I can't even tell you. But there was this... Um, I guess it's an unusual miniature cow. And he had a thought, he or she, I don't know what, had a following on, oh, this is cool, on, um, I guess, Facebook. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where. Anyway, so 
there was a neighbor across the street from they live out in the area here it's i guess considered country but they're real expensive homes they have like you know a couple of acre lots and then they have these pretty houses on it but you can have animals and stuff like that but anyway um so they had i think two of that type of of cow and i guess they're kind of like a miniature cow i'm not sure anyway so the guy across the street i don't know all the details but there was some kind of a dog around and um are you talking about wee moose <laughs> i have no idea what a wee moo <laughs> Sounds like a 1960s <laughs> song. A wee a wonk, a wee a You know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, a wee cow, a wee moo. <laughs> oh, that went way over my head. That was a good one. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. Oh, maybe I'll put that on there. So anyway, um, the uh. There was a history between the, the neighbors across the street from each other. And the guy across the street had these dogs. And they would run loose all over the place. And people would complain. And they would report it. And nothing would happen. Right. Well, anyway, so one day, his two dogs um, came over into the yard where they the cow is. And they killed the cow. It was uh, two of his dogs. I don't know what kind of dogs. And they killed him. And the, the kids were at home. And they were busy with sticks and everything. Trying to beat off the dogs. They finally got the dogs. Luckily the dogs didn't turn on, on them. And uh, and so then that was that. Okay. So, so then they call up. The owners call up. Um. Uh, I don't know if it was this must have been, you know, I don't know if they called the police or they called animal control, but they, they called somebody animal control here in in our city is, is under the police department. So one in the same almost. So they ended up um, trying to get a hold of the guy and either he wasn't there or he wouldn't come out. And then they found the dog, found one of the dogs still running around in the streets. So they picked up the dog and then they finally found the guy. Meanwhile, the police are calling up, you know, their, um, the police chief saying, you know, what do you want us to do? You know, we don't, we can't, he's not around. And you want us to write him a citation? Basically, you know, how are they going to handle it legally? They want to cite him. Do they want to give him a ticket? Do they want to order his arrest? Because there had been already complaints about the dog and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, they end up um, talking to the, the pro city prosecutor. And she says, well, he's had ample opportunity to, you know to harness in these dogs and he doesn't just you know they were gonna you know arrest him and you know when i say arrest him you know they they book him and they let him go you know five dollar bail it's just to get it through the court system to try and make him do something about the dogs so they do that and now the guy still has and one of the dogs and he hasn't secured his yard there's the dog is still getting out of the yard and now they're concerned the neighbors are concerned because that dog has already got the taste of killing something right and other people have different animals out there so now it's become this big old brouhaha about what to do about the guy what to do about the dog they even met uh, yesterday was when they meet and have a, you know, the city forum where people can come and talk, 
get stuff off their chest, and it ended up in a, a big old a big old mess. And the guy's still letting the dog run around. And so I was telling my husband, you know, because my husband was saying, you know, you know, where we live, there's stray dogs here, there, and everywhere. And goes, he goes, I want to get out of this neighborhood and these stray dogs. So I told him, yeah, get out of this neighborhood and go buy a house that we can't afford for $700,000. And you got dogs coming in, killing your animals. <laughs> No. It doesn't matter where you live. You know, you have inconsiderate, irresponsible pet owners at all levels of society. But this lady, she's like, so everybody's up in arms, you know, the ones that were the fans of the poor little animal. And of course, they're all saying, oh, they should do this to this guy and do that to this guy. They ended up putting that dog down. The one that seemed to be doing the most, they put him down. Um, well, that's good. He's not going to hurt, you know, any other animals, but the, the other dog that was right there beside him doing all the mess with him, he's still around loose and he has a hole under his fence that, the dog gets out of and he doesn't fix it. It's the way it was the day all this happened, which was already like two weeks ago, I think. Now, Artie Dar wants to know who got the ground beef. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no idea on that. Okay. Could have had a little mini barbecue. Oh gosh. Yeah, but then you still got the issue of the loose dog. Good night, Jennifer. Have a good dinner. Good night, Jennifer. Okay, where is my glue stick? Glue stick, glue stick, where are you? Whoops. That's like the poor postal people that have to walk around with all those loose, crazy dogs. I know. That's crazy. I was talking to, we used to have a regular um, deliver or, or now we we get different ones all the time but when we had the regular guy he would talk he would tell us about this one dog he uh he was kind of a big dog and he just loved the mailman and he would jump over the fence when the mailman came and he walked along the whole street when he was delivering his mail and then when he was done with the street the dog would jump back into his yard <laughs> And say adios <laughs> every day. It was so cute. Oops, that went wrong. That went wrong. Yeah, I'd be scared to be a doggy walker these days. Oh, 
put a little number right there. I think that looks cute. Because with the wild, with the loose dogs, and then they get in a fight with the dogs that you're walking. And yeah. Don't use, don't use no poop bags. They say that if you put, if you just flick the poo off the path, the rain washes it away and it disintegrates, but you put it in a hundred year old plastic bag that takes forever to go away. And there you are. That's right. Poop in perpetuity. That's right. It's like in the yard. Don't scoop it. Spray it with the water hose. As soon as it happens, it goes away. Oh my God, I would gag if I had to pick up poo in a plastic bag. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you just flick it off. They say just flick it off the path. What are you doing in the dark, little girl? I hear you, but I can't see you. They walk around like they can see in the dark. Can dogs see in the dark? Probably. They're nocturnal, aren't they? I don't know. Dogs and cats? I don't know. Yeah. They used to be whoopies, right? With his goggles and his handlebar mustache. Yeah, I figured. Because this, this whole book came from um, a Jules Verne. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it had a bunch of titles in. This was The Invisible Man. So I thought he's got the glasses so he can see The Invisible Man. <laughs> Put that down there. One down. <laughs> okay, time machine. Oh, time machine. That looks like a time machine, doesn't it? Let's see, time machine. War of the Worlds. First man on the moon. I think I put first man on the moon on that one. <laughs> What is? Oh, is it? Okay, I see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that'll go on there. I have to put that on a card. Okay, let's see. Probably I'll put um, the time machine there with Tesla, right? Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. That'll work. Yeah. Tomorrow's Thursday. All day. I hate it. <laughs> There's no court on Thursday. What are you going to do? I guess I'll catch up on everything else I missed during the week. Oh, okay. They've been having, they keep saying every day, 
well, we may be delayed tomorrow. You jurors that live in this part of the county, this part of the county may have heavy snow. Blah, blah, blah. Dar wants to know if Rosemary has a plan for May. Don't hit me. <laughs> I do, but it's not going to be like a caboodle kit. I want to concentrate on my dine and I'll have some packs of that for you guys. Yeah, Colorado. Already dark. No, not Lori Daybell. That's in Boise. This one's in um, Colorado. Leticia Stout. Time machine. Time machine. Time machine. Let's see. What other ones do I have already? It's backed up. Let's see. Hey, where'd that other... Uh-oh. Where'd that go? Oh, did I lose it? Oh, there it is. Okay. She's going to... She's going to do a, a caboodle with some, with a little canvas in it, a paintbrush, <laughs> oil paint, and a bottle of Merlot for you, Artie Dar, because you need to like painting and drinking wine. Ooh. Food of the Gods. That reminds me of um. Oh, what was the name of that one? Oh dear, see now I just went blank. To serve man, you guys remember that? Uh, Twilight Zone. Um, one of their one of their episodes. <gasps> they only had like what a thousand. You'd remember if you remember to serve man or to serve mankind. No, to serve man. I can't. Yeah, to serve mankind. That's what it was called. It was a restaurant? No. Oh. <laughs> no, a bunch of aliens came down. And at first they were afraid, then they weren't. And they were offering them all this cool stuff. And they told them what it was like on their planet. And they wanted them to come and blah, 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 blah. And then as they're getting on the ship. Um, somebody, I can't remember exactly how it happens, but somebody gets a hold of the manual that the, one of the guys have when he was talking about how they would serve man, and it was a cookbook. Uh. <laughs> War of the Worlds. That looks kind of like a war in his mind. Janice said, yes, cookbook at the end, show recipe how to cook human. Yeah. Good night, Leslie. Good night, Leslie. I'm going to put War of the Worlds with him because it looks like he's having a war in his head. There you go. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Darkwood Sanctuary. There you go. Yeah. Well, we kind of sort of got nothing done, but we got a lot done at the same time. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Started off not even knowing if I could get on. Exactly. <laughs> then camera malfunctions, but it looks like it's straightened up. It's still a little, to me, it looks a little like fuzzy or hazy or I don't even know what word to call it. It still doesn't look right from my end anyway. All right, the only one left that's already backed, mm, excuse me, is First Man on the Moon, no. The Food of the Gods, no. Lucy said, you got a lot done, we got nothing done. <laughs> well, that's expected. You guys just kind of hang out and have fun, right? Okay, I'm not. 
I'm not crazy about any of these titles for that guy. And I know I want First Man on the Moon on that one. Food. The Days of the Comet. I think the Days of the Comet, I'll have the guy with having his, his mask on. Like the comet's coming down. So I'll put that on there. Okay, that's a ball gag. <laughs> it's a respirator. Oh, it looks like a ball gag. Right there. Respirator. Oh, Lord. This is when the time when people had um, the Spanish flu. Uh, Everybody was dying. Yeah. Okay. Um... All right. Well, I think the original we COVID. Yeah. So I think I think I think we're done, guys. We got one minute till. So I'll be putting some more of these down on the cards, the black cardstock. So these can be little, 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 little. Little pocket somewhere. That could be a pocket right there. So does the journal end back up with its original owner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But when they get it, it will be done. There's nothing for them to do to it. I think that will look kind of cool right there. But give it away. Yeah. You can see that you tuck something in that way, maybe. I don't know, but we'll put it on that page. And then Yeah, he needs some glasses on that bright page. I know. Oops, it's coming undone. Oh, I got to put some glue on there. It's coming off. That way, when they tuck something in there, there's some color to that page. I think I'll put him there. bigger in there just put sew it on one side maybe 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 yeah why not oh she's got the same thing that i'm going to be doing that black one with hello very cool and that's where we write our little story in there our contribution yay okay Okay, I'm feeling better about it now. Now that I have a plan. Oh, and this will go. Yeah, that one can go right there. That looks like a moon or another gauge or something. I like something. that. Something. I like that right there. All righty. Okay. I don't feel so stressed now. <laughs> I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Yay. <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, thank you for putting up with, um, you know, a little bit of everything. <laughs> thank you for the visuals. We won't, we won't mention anybody's name in, in particular, but you know who it is. <laughs> Sorry. I see what I see. <laughs> <sighs> All right, ladies, so if all's well, because we're supposed to be having some bad weather again tomorrow. We were supposed to have really bad weather tonight, but it, it just rained. Nothing else but rain, so that's good. Yay. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, if, you know, if I have internet and electricity, we'll be here. And a camera. 
Anakin, oh yeah. <laughs> it might just be audio. You may not have no visuals. You're just sitting there by herself, hanging out with her smoke bush. <laughs> I can see it from my window if I stand up. I'm not in the dark. Oh, look. So then I have that all over again to play with. Hello. I'm glad she included some of the pages to the original book. Oh, which yeah. Is working out really well. All right, ladies. We will see you tomorrow, hopefully. All righty. Everybody stay out of trouble. Jeez. Stay warm or stay cool, whichever. Every state's different this time of year. Oh, all righty. Talk to you guys soon. Good night. And good night.